Ang kayo? Ang kayo? What does this question mean? Today, on One Korean Word a Day here at Tehango, we're going to study about the word Ang kayo. Let's start. Learn Korean one word at a time only here at Tehango. Word number 254. An This is pronounced as a three syllable word. The first syllable is an, second syllable is ga, and third syllable is yo. Pronounce it with me. An kayo. An kayo. An kayo. The meaning of the word an kayo is not going. This is actually the combination of an and kayo. And gayo is the present tense form of the verb kada. The verb gada means to go. And its present tense form is kayo, which means go. So, when we say an gayo, it's just the negation of kayo. Therefore, an gayo means to not go or not going. From our previous word discussion, we have already introduced the concept of negation. In English, negation is done by adding not to say the opposite meaning of the word. So if the word is to go, we will negate it by adding not at the beginning of it. So the opposite of going is not going. And in Korean, one way to indicate negation is by adding an at the beginning of the word. So if the word is kayo, we just need to add an at the beginning of it to make it a negation. Again, kayo means to go. So when we negate it, Angayo becomes to not go. This word is used to say that you are not going, and this is also used to ask whether the other person is going or not. So when you ask someone, Angayo, it's the same as asking, are you not going? And when you answered, Angayo, it's the same as responding that you are not going. Now let's study how to write Angayo in Hangul. This is composed of three syllables. The first syllable, an, is formed by the combination of a no sound yang, an a character, and a nian character. The second syllable, ga, is formed from the combination of a gyok character and an a character. The last syllable, yo, is formed from the combination of a no sound yang and a yo character. And then we just need to combine the hangul for each of these three syllables to form the hangul of the word, an gayo. Again, an gayo means to not go or not going. And with that, you've just learned Angayo. Now let's proceed to the previous 10 words recap. As of now, the previous 10 words are words number 244 to 253. But don't forget our word for today, word number 254, Angayo, which means to not go or not going. Word number 253 is anmewoyo, which means not spicy. Word number 252 is chonwa, which means telephone. Word number 251 is almana, and this is used to indicate the degree or intensity of a certain description. Word number 250 is mewoyo, which means spicy. Word number 249 is neda. This is a verb which means to pay. Word number 248 is olmayo. This is used to ask, how much is this? Word number 247 is hol. This is a Korean slang used to express shock, surprise, or sarcasm. Word number 246 is kureso, which means so. Word number 245 is adum down, which means beautiful.
And the last for our review, word number 244, napan, which means bad. Congrats! Learn Korean one word at a time only here at Day Hangul. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more Korean words.